Room One, Face. Over the centuries, the portrait genre has gone through different interpretations: imitation of nature, psychological introspection, idealization, formal representation, and many others. The female profile. As portrayed by an anonymous Lombard artist of the 15th century, and by Hans Richter in a 1916 painting, presents surprising similarities. In both cases, a bi-dimensional representation is used to depict the most essential features of the face. The works by Reinicke Dijkstra and Giuseppe Foglia use an apparently similar approach. The person portrayed stares at onlookers with an investigating gaze. The work by Dijkstra, however, emphasizes the social dimension and the environment rather than the girl's individual features. This is why the place and date appear in the title of the work. Folia instead combines in his portrait the role of the subject, a delivery boy, with his being an individual, Mustafa. Capturing the state of mind and psychological dimension is the characteristic of the photographic image by Craigie Horsfield, and even more of the troubling self-portrait by Filippo Franzoni. The opposite happens in the watercolor created with great technical skill by Till Freivalt. Apparently, there's no emotion or psychological depth. The artist. Who worked with his subject through several sittings seems to depict the impossibility of really capturing the soul of a human being. A similar absence of emotions can be found also in the portrait of a young girl by Carlo Agostino Meletta, where the lack of expressiveness contrasts with the richness of details, such as the jewels, the fabric of the dress, and the head cover. Imitation of real life instead seems to be the aim of the works by Francesco Messina and Daniel Maillet.